Kasatu holds its May Day rally in Bethlehem in the Free State today. The union, uh, or uh, federation rather, will be joined by all its affiliates. And today's event will also see the commemoration of the Salzburg bus tragedy of 2003. 51 workers died on this day in a bus crash near Bethlehem. Our senior reporter, Sipamandla Goke, is at that official event and he joins me now live to give us more details. Sipa, we were expecting that the program would start officially at around 11 this morning. How far um, is it from uh, beginning? It's not going to start any time soon, even though members of uh, COSATU and those who are here to listen to the speeches are arriving inside this show ground which is in Bethlehem. The program is delayed but we can confirm to our viewers that the president of the ANC, Mr. Cyril Matamela Ramaphosa, has already arrived in Bethlehem and he's going to make his way together with COSATU President Zingiswalusi as well as ACCP General Secretary. Uh, they will come here, that is Solima Paile, they will come to the Bethlehem show grounds and the program will get underway. All of them are in Bethlehem. The program was delayed because they started at the Sol Sport Dam, which has been renamed to Sol Plaki, and that's where they performed or undertook the wreath laying ceremony there in honor of the 51 workers who perished in 2003 after attending a rally, a May Day rally. So today was commemorating their lives, honoring them. 51 perished, eight survived. It was a very emotional first half or first part of this program with the survivors telling us how difficult it was to escape the tragedy and what is it that they need to see happening in modern day South Africa in terms of worker issues and those issues that affect workers in a sense if you look at it you know the cost of living is too high rolling blackouts that are leading to job losses the issue of the living wage and as we speak some workers are on strike because they are demanding salary increasing and they are protesting against job losses so all of those issues are the issues that still exist currently those are the issues that the 2003 generation which perished was fighting for and those who survived are saying more still needs to be done to ensure that the environment and is conducive for workers in south africa and that their rights are respected but most importantly that they are paid accordingly for the work that they are doing so we expect that once kosatu president zindi swalusi and anc president mr ramaposa together with sacp General Secretary Solima Paile arrive, the program will get underway. It would appear to me that uh, a number of people have indeed arrived at the stadium, as my colleague Joko Mane will be showing you. Uh, this would be President Ramaphosa's uh, second May Day rally after the one that did not go according to plan in the northwest, where he was booed and chased away by angry workers. He had to be whisked away by the police. It would appear that this crowd is relatively friendly and is looking forward to welcoming him and we can only confirm once he arrives here but he had to take Kosato to give the ANC an assurance that its leaders across the country who are attending May Day rallies will not be booed, they will not receive a hostile reception. It remains to be seen whether that will be the case here but at least in terms of the numbers it appears as if mobilization was done successfully. How are they going to receive the message from the AMC, which is a governing party that has been accused of not honoring the wage agreement deal that was signed as the employer in terms of public sector unions. Well, we can only wait and find out once AMC President Cyril Ramaphosa takes to the podium. That's what I was going to ask you about, Sipa, because we all remember in Rustenburg last year, he didn't get a very welcoming um, reception, especially from those workers who worked at Sibanye Stillwater uh, and were protesting. So you're saying that it looks a bit warmer there for him to um, actually address the crowd. But what about Kusatu itself? They also um, have a role to play in where workers are today. They are an affiliate of the ANC. 
Absolutely, I had to ask the spokesperson of the ANC, that is Mahen Gubengu, to say, have you received confirmation from COSATO that your leaders are safe, that your leaders will be given platform to address? She said to me earlier on, yes, we have been given that undertaking. As I keep on checking this side, because this is where President Ramaphosa's motorcade will come from. But the ANC, NEC member, who's their national spokesperson, Mahen Gubengu, is of the view that indeed, they will receive a warm welcome even though she does concede that a number of labor related issues remain unresolved and within the tripartite alliance itself our viewers would call that COSATU is part of this contradictory alliance if you can call it that because you are in alliance with the governing ANC you support them, you campaign for them when it comes to the elections but there are a number of issues that your members are facing that your members are complaining about about. And the government of the ANC is the employer in a number of public sector unions whereby your members are affiliated and they've been complaining about how the employer, which is the government, has not honored its commitment, including the much to talk about wage agreement deal that was meant to be implemented for three years, but it was put on ice government as the employer citing the issue of the economic climate, saying, well, there is no money to implement that wage deal agreement. It's something that COSATU has been fighting for or about for years now. But still, they remain in this alliance because they say, according to their president, Zingi Swalosi, they feel that the ANC is still the correct vehicle to take the issue of worker struggle forward. But when we ask them to say, as the vanguard of the workers together with the SACP, how do you stay in an environment and in an alliance which is contradictory, where you agree that a number of setbacks have been registered in terms of worker struggle. They say, well, you can only stay within and fight from within to transform from within. So that's the attitude that COSATU is taking. As much as they are pushing the blame to the government of the day, which is the employer led by the ANC, they also concede that they have let down workers in a number of instances in terms of fighting for their issues, fighting for their rights, and also their close proximity to the ANC, which leads the government, that is the employer, is somehow problematic. Senior reporter Sipamanda Koke live for us in Bethlehem in the Free State ahead of the official program by government on today being Workers' Day.